Hello, welcome to Ages of Shield. Come and sit with us on the couch. <gasps> Can we? Come on, we'll make room. Come on, we'll make room. Yeah, right 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 come join us, guys. Yes. <laughs> and for those who watch us a lot, welcome back. We yes, have the nice welcome warm back. Yes. storm here. Mom here. Kimmy here. We're watching episode 16 of season five. Ooh, getting up there. Okay. We were just discussing what happened last time, and we're looking at the title, Rise and Shine. Oh, so wow. what does that mean? Rise and shine. Routine. Wow. Safe house. That's right. right. Talbot. Poor Talbot going through all oh, of that. No. Oh, now we know where he is, yeah. and he's being uh, tucked away where he can't be with his family. Yeah. And we just know where horrible. he is. Yeah. Awful. And now Coulson, yeah, Coulson, I see the thumbnail with him and Ruby, and he was amazing because, like, he wasn't conditioned. Like, he was like, huh, been there, done that, and yeah, <laughs> through the ball. Yeah. Jokes. yeah, and the fact that Hale doesn't believe him that he time traveled. I know it's a lot to take in, no. but you just teleported to see the yeah, Shadow right. Cree. We're calling him Shadow Cree for now. Oh, my yes. God. You, you know, can do that, yeah. but you don't believe that he went no, to the future. Her. So maybe if she has proof, she'll have to see something else to know for a fact that he's telling the truth. Or maybe they can, or he can predict something that, you know, oh, this is going to happen soon. That it happens. I can't think of anything um, from what we've seen, but yeah. maybe he'll remember something that hasn't happened yet, and then she'll witness it after he says it, and he'll be like, oh, or she'll yeah, finally yeah. believe him. Yeah, Deke and uh, Simmons. This is proof. This is he's from the future. He's really supposed to not be. Yeah, because she knows yeah, the yeah. DNA, right? Because right. she's like, oh yeah, he's affiliated right. with these two right. people, and <laughs> um, or she's gonna get that confused and be like, wait, wait, what? You guys are married? Um, well, you can't be because like you're related to this guy. If they don't think it's, if she doesn't think time travels, a I, thing. I think that That's might right. be the key is Deke. Yeah, because oh, oh, they might be like, oh, this is your brother, or like, this is both your, you know, <laughs> you know your brother to both of you, so and yet, not, she didn't you know, have a daughter yet, like but that. here's your grandson. <laughs> yeah, true. if she believes that, you know, because you know what I mean, if you have DNA, it can't tell you, like, what line down it's going, it just knows, like, your two, well, maybe it does know your How two your parents or something, or two yeah, parties. Yes. Yes. So I was thinking, right. like, oh, well, you're both related to this guy, so maybe he's your sibling, so you shouldn't be married. I'm taking it too far, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, believe that. She doesn't believe in time travel. <laughs> but anywho, I just wanted to mess around with that. And that's messed up. So I'm glad that Fitz knows about Deke. And I hope he does warm up to him and doesn't judge him. Yes, and they have to really, the team has to believe Fitz. And it's hard because he just did something really bad to Daisy and Mac. Yeah. yeah. Another thing we wanted to talk about or just mention is that we want to see Robbie again because we really liked his character a lot. and He was a big, he was very involved. He was a big character for a while. Yes, it was emotional what he went through too. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so shall we get into 16? Yes. And we're watching on Netflix today, like we always do. Okay. 516. Still, seems kind of patty, taking away my cot, my chair, and my Captain Crunch. Yeah. Captain that last one really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Question is, what do you want me to do with it? I'm offering transformation. Into what? A hero. I want that. that. Yeah. <laughs> we stick the screws to him now. A week without sleep and food. We'll see what he has to say. It's gonna go delirious. You have all those people in there, I'd get out. Mm-hmm. I know. Oh, crap, what are we here to? Observing with their computers. Oh, what grabbed God. him? Whoa. There's other people yeah, in there, where they go? Oh, it's gonna go to them, too. What happened? Uh, you uh, saw it. Are they made she for punching? No I guess so. Oh. oh. Woo! Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. I'll be lying on a bed for once. Then later on, I can run diagnostic on those arms. Well, don't look at me like that. Well, I'm not babying you. I'm a mechanic. A well-oiled machine needs oil. Uh-huh. That's good. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. A Any little see. emotion, probably? Mm -hmm. well, I don't know what to tell you, Grandpappy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess your daughter found a real man. Ooh. That's almost as loving as when you had a robot point a gun to my head. And you knocked me out. Anybody. It's fine. It's the first movie you made that actually made me respect you a little bit. Can I pick your brain for a minute? It's a weird saying. I was hoping you could tell me more. <laughs> yeah, she is. You saw it. It sucked. No, I mean Fitz and me. It's enough to know Fitz and I live long enough to create her. You certainly will, as long as you guys... <laughs> okay, no, no, okay, don't talk about that. <laughs> Daisy has really just become a hard ass. What are you telling everyone that for? I noticed. I'll just go ahead and go to the command center. 
Was he late? I have no idea. What's up? <laughs> oh, oh, poor Dina. Poor we can't have that conversation again, Simmons. Mac is in charge when I'm gone. And he's under strict orders. Fitz stays locked up. Understood. I understand what you're saying. Mm, good. Mac said you believe you can't die. I know it sounds crazy, Gemma, I don't think it's crazy. I believe it's true. I'm glad someone understands. I don't just mean you. It scares me that they think that way. Deke. Is our grandson. Wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, it makes as much sense as anything else. Mm -hmm. Poor Deke. It's probably in a location that Malik turned over the shield. That sounds bad. I'm in. Mm -hmm. So we go to these places and knock down doors? I can knock down doors now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He'll stop us. He'll try. Mm -mm. Hey, she's getting all attacked there, too. Yeah. We're going to conduct another test soon. <laughs> He's quite powerful, too, to talk to him like that. Hydraulics are okay. Guess you didn't do any damage with all that punching. Yeah, these things are pretty tough. Well, if the arm fits. <sighs> you can't protect me forever, Mac. Did you ever stop to think? Maybe you're alive in the future because I did. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Yeah. Everyone's gonna start rebelling. Boy. Uh-oh. He's gonna wanna do it now. He's gonna go to close the door. Oh, ouch. He did. Uh-oh, he's gonna grab him. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, grab it, Tony. Oh, it hates you. Ooh. Getting him care, no one else could. Helping him heal. That's a touching story. Oh. And I should believe you instead. Go check. You don't have to believe me. Just check out Tom. See for yourself. You were up to the camera, too. Oh, yeah. That's a choice. <laughs> I thought I'd have until she was 13 before she completely tuned me out. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry we're not able to help. Do you know what it means? Said. No, Robin! Oh, so she's surrounded by Jasmine. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, yeah, she's so confused with time. This would be so confusing. I missed you. Oh. She has no idea. What you said is true. There he is. Pretty sure that's our man. General? Good God, man, you sneak up on a man like that. That's not right. That's not right. Quit being so handsy. She's gonna be loud. I know we're under a bit of strain here, but I'm gonna need you to use your inside voice. This is my inside Shh. voice. Okay. So I'm going to prove that I can't be killed. Are you two similar? Th this is messed oh, up. Come on, it doesn't guys. work that way. That's this is no. no. Sounds like you're detached from reality. The fourth holds a phosphoric acid compound, it's highly toxic. One sip will make you sick. I mean, this That's much stupid. will surely kill you. What the hell? Since I can't be killed, I will happen to consume the three that just hold water. <laughs> this is insane. Oh my god, there's so many things wrong with that. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna follow this. She's actually kind of thinking maybe she shouldn't do it. Don't do it. This is so stupid. Mm. He's right, Jim. Don't. don't. Oh. Maybe this is where Mac See, dies because you did like... this. No. Oh, gee. Mm -hmm. I don't think you will. Jeez. Please. Come on, this is how you do with everybody. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. That was wrong. See, now it's going to make him open the door to help her, oh, and then he's going to get out. Hopefully, she's not faking it. Well, I hope she is faking it. See? Is this all a joke? I don't know. I hope it is. She's loving it. See, now she got in there. She locked him in. Gemma was the That's dark, guys. That was mean. A heads up would have been nice. You okay, he didn't oh. know. He was terrified. So she still did do that? That's ridiculous. I might have chosen that one. But I didn't. Because we are invincible. I'm sorry, Matt. I know you don't understand. But I'm doing this to keep you safe. Oh, right back at you. But if you really believe that, Fitz, then it means we're in no danger. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. Who'd you just shoot? Woo! Bang, 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 bang. Oh, <laughs> and they did not get Don't go guys start they're shooting invincible. each other. I can't believe they're just leaving him. He's gonna die. Oh. I really hope not. 
I just cannot imagine bouncing back and forth between the past and the future like that. Finally, someone gets it. Thank you, because it's been like a pretzel up here ever since I met up with you, time travelers. So. Yeah, okay, let's start searching for landmarks that might match. She's got the exact picture. <laughs> like, exactly. <laughs> She's good. Uh, I'm right where I'm supposed to be. You okay? Did you hear them arguing? <laughs> no. Shh. I'm not the only one with a shh. Oh, God. Creel has broken out Talbot and Coulson. They're trying to escape. Gear up and stop them. We need Creel alive. No one else? Yeah. Secure Strucker. Can I just go, to, go up against Ruby? Yeah, go to get some robots. Don't hurt him. Whoa. Is that fatal? Oh, did it kill him? Oh crap. Oh. No way. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, yes, he would never know. Here. Shock him back. Yeah. Yes! Yeah, wow. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. <laughs> it's time to go. Oh my goodness, it looks awesome. <laughs> Alright. Hey. Woo. I thought it was like all seen there. Like, hey. Is that a bunch of go. Oh, shuck, shuck. Fire. Fire. Oh, wow. Yeah. I've got something oh, for no. you to absorb. Jeez. You know the Earth. Somewhere on Earth. Oh, right? Somewhere. <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> Just in time, but where did they go? Wow. Just stay a metal guy, so she can't cut you. Dumbbells. Gonna get it. Damn. Damn. Wow. Grab a dumbbell and oh. absorb it. Oh. Slice. Ooh. She's gonna do it. Ooh. To who, or mom? To her. It's only it's wood, though. Wood. It's gonna chop him up. Oh yeah. <gasps> no, we got to his chest. Then go get them. Uh, what about Kill <laughs> though? Because <laughs> it's all in his heart. White sandy beaches in the palm trees. It's not really my thing anymore. Yeah, no more <laughs> Tahiti. <laughs> There's a drawing. Oh, yes. How you got through to Garrett, I'll never know. Oh, Ian. He learned to trust me in the end. The clairvoyant. Oh, what? He's gonna eat you. Is that where she puts it? It wanted you. <gasps> no way! <laughs> what? That was exciting. Yeah, I I don't understand what just happened. So he's in it, and the doctor's in it. Yeah. Wow. So this happened in the past. Yeah, and it must have. Ago, so he did disappear. Man, I just thought he died. Yeah, I just thought he died too, and then she died. So it said four years ago. Yeah, it did. It did. Yeah, it's true. Gravitonium has always been in the picture. Yeah, That's right. So, yes. And Carl could see the doctor. He could. We. Could never see Ian through Carl after he touched the gravitonium himself. Mm -hmm. Oh man! Yeah. Oh, so there's people. All these twists, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it communicates in that yeah. way or yeah. something. Okay. Yeah, it's some kind of like you can see through it, like yeah. what they're feeling because they're dead. They've got to be dead. Yeah. And I watch them come back to life. Wow. So with. Creel now, I know he has an amazing ability and he has right. to absorb whatever material he has around him. So when he was fighting Ruby, he couldn't grab the weapons quick enough, I guess, to absorb that kind right. of metal. Right, like or the dumbbells else. and stuff hitting yeah. his face. Yeah, so with him slowly turning into wood and it still penetrated his chest, it went in pretty freaking deep. It's so how is he not dead? Right. Yeah. I thought, and I thought it, it was just going up to his arm at that point when she got his chest. So I didn't even oh, think yeah. it went through his whole body already yeah so right. apparently like the wood did make it there and i'm just like it's well petrified. how does that even protect yeah, his inner yeah. like, i know everything i guess becomes it not just his skin right yeah, so right. i thought What's he was just gonna die out? there yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. man she really wants her way she and does she, yeah and Gemma was taking a, sure was taking a chance with that water mm -hmm. you know i gotta tell you i mean i don't know how you guys feel about this whole invincible thing you know before i start talking 
with the Fitz thing last time about, you know, putting Daisy's life in danger and Max and, you know, hurting Mac to get to what he needed to do for, you know, having Daisy take care of um, the portal. But, I mean, they're, they're really using each other yeah, to get are. to what they want. I know it's like this, the stakes are higher, but they're really hurting the people that are closest to. Like, yeah, poor Mac. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they yeah. kind of should have let him that go was, at that yeah. point, you know, or something. They got oh. Fitz out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how do you feel about that whole invincibility thing, Mom? Do yeah, you I think, think they're it's... working against each other, too, with that, you know? Yeah. But the invincible it's thing, I, I think it's a real thing. But they tried to, like, May's telling, you know, Robin, I think we can change it or we don't have to, you know, things can change. We don't have to have Philip jake colson die or whatever so some people are believing that they can change the future and even robin's fate but here's Gemma saying no that we're we're invincible we got this we can do this yeah and it's dangerous and it's an interesting concept yes and again we keep going with the whole linear time thing but here even yo-yo which really i think contradicts what she's what she believes in because what does she believe in because here she wants to save mac to what cost like she will try to save him no matter what like she will change it but you being determined to change things like now you're doing things completely out of the norm already because you know that you survive until a certain amount of time till Mm -hmm. so far in the future so if you start redirecting and changing that path like you know what makes you think, oh, I'm going to be invincible all the way up until that point, but yet I can still save Mac no matter what over here. Like, you can't think both sides. Because right, because what lengths are you going to, okay, to prove that you're invincible and really take chances? And are you changing how you normally would have acted? I know, because unless she was crazy suicidal during the normal loop and she was doing all kinds of stuff, or um, Simmons, if she was doing all kinds of stuff Mm -hmm. like that anyways. Look at this trick. Like it was going to happen anyways. Like they're already pushing the bounds of doing different things, which could change the future, which they seem hopeful like they can do it because they want to save the earth and everything from cracking. So just to be blind and be like, I'm invincible because I lived to this point, but yet we're going to change the future and we're still in a time loop. Like... That whole idea is complicated, but I just feel like you can't try to do both. You know, I just think the whole invincibility. Because already, accidentally, like the the gun went off in between them because of Yo Yo's, you know, her arms. You know, she's still learning how to use her hands and all. I mean, it accidentally went off and, you know, it didn't even go, you know, near, well, it went right between. Fitzsimmons. So, I mean, that alone is taking a chance. Yes. Why didn't it hit him? Because they're invincible. But I mean, even like accidental stuff, they have to be careful about. But doing this stuff on purpose to drink things that, oh, you know, I'm not going to drink that the one crazy. that's poisonous that, because that, it's, like not, that, yeah. it's not yeah. in the cards. Yeah. And when Simmons, which yes. was bad to do, but we knew that she was going to try to get Fitz out of his cell, at, you know, some way. So, I thought it was all a prank when she was like, ah, and acting like she was dying from it or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it was all facade. Like, I thought it was just all water. And then she was like, no, I did actually yeah, try cool. that because I wanted to prove a point, which I thought was pretty crazy. Again, I know they're yeah. trying to solidify the whole, you know, invincibility thing. But again, it just drives me nuts to be like, you're going to risk, you're actually changing everything. Like, you didn't do yeah. this in the It's almost like they're doing line. Russian yeah. roulette. Like, yeah. is yeah, it really going to happen every single time that you're not going to die? Yeah, like, how do you mm-hmm. know that you won't kill yourself earlier? Because killing yourself earlier might not change the main path of this timeline anyways. So mm-hmm. you're doing that, even though Deke, yes, he lives, like, maybe something happens where she's in a coma. I don't know how that works. And, you know, like if she gets shot or does something reckless and something else happens or the poison and she ends up already pregnant um, and she has the baby, but now she's in a coma and that's it for her. Like they're not actually happy together because like Deke's never actually met them. He heard stories through his mom, but still like, you know, if it doesn't change main things in the future, other bad things might happen with your crazy choices. So they just have to be careful. I think that's too dangerous. And, you know, and that also gives me less hope thinking you're invincible that you can actually change, you know, someone from dying. 
they prevent mm-hmm. someone from dying mm-hmm. because now like oh well i'm definitely not gonna die so i could do what i want but we could totally change him from dying like i just can't see both points of view mm-hmm. you know yeah That's and even matt me. max point of view is like how do you know you're you lived in the future all the way to the lighthouse was it because of me trying to protect you or you know keep you safe as well so you know you have to think of okay do i really you know you can just tell she's kind of annoyed at how mac wants to just help her out Mm -hmm. yes he's a mechanic and he has to you know make sure you know her arms work well and she's you know well oiled or whatever but um (laughs) but i mean now she went against him i mean this is you know i know they have a bigger picture they have to work with just like fitz did with um you know the team before it was a different circumstance but i mean they're all like going against each other yeah. now mm-hmm. a little bit at yeah, a time i don't know like and i don't blame gets. daisy for how she's feeling against fits like i totally understand that and she's yeah. trying to be a leader she's she is a leader but she's under a lot of pressure and i'm glad may was by her side telling her like well you know it's all new for us with you leading and everything and maybe you should kind of you know calm down or kind of relax a little yes. bit and take a step back it's hard it's really yeah, hard yeah. so yeah i don't like everyone fighting and fitz did a horrible thing but now you know some people understand why he did it and we understand why because we do believe daisy needs to have her powers we know mm-hmm. she's going to meet up with the gravitonium but it might not be a bad thing i mean just knowing everything that they, they know in the future also makes me think that's also what made this happen. And I know it has to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. But anyways, you know, it gets really complicated with the whole time loop thing. But, you know, it's almost setting everything in motion with the destroyer of worlds. Because just hearing that, maybe Daisy should be part of that project. But because we know the name of it, we automatically do associate the two. But things get lost in history. So Mm -hmm. them trying to not have Daisy part of what Ruby wants to be might actually make it happen where she has to stop Ruby and her and Ruby end up in the same room, the earth explodes Mm -hmm. or whatever, um, because they're trying to prevent Ruby and Daisy couldn't get to it soon enough, Mm -hmm. you know? Right, and Daisy's the only one that's alive, you know, through a a fight or something. Maybe Daisy kills Ruby. You don't know. Mm -hmm. And then it just looks like, you know, Daisy is the destroyer of worlds. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Ruby did it and she killed Ruby right after. You don't know. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. It's, it's I don't know. going well, to really be exciting though yeah. because, Gosh. you know, with Ruby in the mix, I mean, she just seems so destructible already. Mm-hmm. I actually thought she was even aiming that blade at her mom. I thought, I thought so too. I really thought she was going to take like, that mom out. Is she going to really just do what she wants? Really, yeah. Is she going to hurt her mom? She's and very I reckless anyway, she, yeah, so yeah. I don't know. I mean, she's trying to like mm-hmm. prove to her mom that she's good enough, but at the same time she rebels against her. So yeah, I don't know. I she's like really she working, you know, with Strucker. She really knows he's so smart and he's That's doing right. this formula. And she's just like, you just, you know. Yeah. He's and, working hard yeah. for it. And how do you feel about Creel, Colson, and Talbot together? Or were they were together for yeah, a little bit? Yeah, it was good. I liked that. It, it was, was kind of entertaining, yeah. right? It yeah, I love it. I love Poor Talbot. Talbot. I mean, Talbot. Poor he was guy. funny in this one, though. Talbot has to go, shh, shh. Yeah, he was he's like an inside voice, not really, but he did okay for a while. He was quiet yeah, yeah, like not really talking bit. at all. And, and I'm the glad guy, he's got a brain injury, and he just, you know, he's... And they leave him all alone, and he's right, getting yeah. a little cuckoo because you know he he's been wronged so oh, much that I know yeah, they don't care. They don't they know just... what sides up anymore. I'm oh, glad Creel gosh. saw that instead of believing like, oh, he's yeah. got the best care. What do you mean? So oh, he needed yeah. to see that. Yeah. yeah, and he knows now that his he hasn't even seen his family, his wife and kids. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so hopefully he can make it back to them and I mean get out of the cold first. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. Ruby might do uh, hailing too. <laughs> I know, so we were kind of worried about right. before. Yeah, she might. Yeah, I still might do it. She might. Yeah, no I don't know. I really don't know because, like, um, it's hard to tell with them. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's an awkward, weird relationship, but. It is very much yeah. so. I don't know yeah. if she's really hateful against her mom or not, or just. Mm-hmm. You know, I have no or idea. just both. Um, I think she's going to go other. her own way. I think Ruby's going to go her own way, do something that she yeah. shouldn't. Like, yeah. look, she went right for Creole. Yeah, she, against her mom. And her mom told her, no, we need him alive. 
And I love how Hale doesn't have her uniform anymore. She's just wearing Hale clothes. I mean, Hale Hydra clothes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know what's kind of crazy, too? Her hair is down now. Yeah. And she, yeah. Overthinking <laughs> it, like, maybe she did kill Creel there and because she doesn't want him to be the destroyer of worlds or whatever. And then the mom smiled because, you know, she kind of passed the test or something because he started to get the wood and then he was in... Then it was embedded in him, so maybe he turned into like a tree or something, and he just couldn't move. I'm mean, he. I think he's alive, but I just had a moment of like maybe he is dead, and that was her graduating to become the destroyer of worlds. Like okay, yeah, maybe. I don't and think he so doesn't want to do it, and he knows something's really off with himself. But because after he touched the gravitonium, oh, he yeah. just can't explain it. It's a weird feeling. What a flash of the past, huh? Yeah, oh, that's true. Wow. Yeah, and how he's talking to Coulson, it's like the doctor talking to him way back when, and Coulson's not picking up on it because it's just like, you know, parts of a conversation that's not like, um, you know, a pivotal moment where he mm -hmm. said something mm -hmm. like, but, you know, just different words he's saying to Coulson. So he's like living, it's just weird. It's just like living from the past, like a little, like just a moment in time. Mm -hmm. All these different yeah, fragments of yeah. his memory or something from someone else's memory absorbed by the gravitonium. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's absolutely crazy. And again, Coulson died. That Coulson like, died. Oh my God. God. Deep in. Sure. He's like, oh, he's I've done back. this plenty of times already, so I'm okay. <laughs> I'm back sad. Again. I don't want to go. Who do I have to thank? <laughs> There's a lot of things they need to change in this time loop. Okay, so yeah. Coulson has to survive. Mm -hmm. I feel like the gravitonium is going to do something there. Maybe him, Daisy, Ruby, like everyone's going to meet up at this gravitonium and she's going to maintain it and Coulson's going to have to absorb it and or it's going to absorb the crap out of him and then he's going to survive. Yeah, I don't know how that would work, so. but we'll <laughs> make it so. Oh, it's going to be a lot. <laughs> and Robin, you know, she had a moment where she, May was her mom. That's right, yeah. That was heartbreaking. Her real was mom too. understands, yeah. and she, she's okay There's with it. There's a connection it. with her, so. Yeah, and yeah. she knows that she's yeah. not around in her later years, so. Mm -hmm. I thought that was going to be harder, so I'm happy mm -hmm. that she could associate her present mom yeah. and future mom, because... Yes. When she wanted her mom to sit next to her, I thought she was going to be like, no, other mommy. No, I want her. And I was like, oh, God, this could be really bad. But yeah. no, she knew. Yeah. She was kind of, like comforting her mom, yeah. her current mom. Yeah. It's sad to hear that, though. Like, I'm not going to be in those pictures, like, thinking that about your child, like, knowing the future and you're not going to be there and just get, there's nothing oh, you can do about it. Yes. Unless they change sure it enough. again. Hopeful that they can change everything from right. people dying. Yeah. Yeah, and it was interesting how Robin stopped drawing after she saw she drew the picture of herself as an older self with may and then once she saw may she resumed again so that was interesting yeah because she saw her death first she saw her death and then she saw that she can still draw again yeah it kind of like healed her a little bit or something yeah uh, so again division it's hard. I hope there's a like yeah. a little uh, intercom in there where Mac is and say, can someone get me out? Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, they should have a fail safe or something. You know? Not that it happens yeah, because a lot. Because he's but... in charge and he's not around. Yeah. And... yeah. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but I am happy that Fitz had no idea that happened. Yeah, yes. Exactly. Because he did yeah. try to get out of there, you know, with different, you know, sayings like, you know, I can't help you if I'm in here, you know, too yeah. bad. But, yeah. um, once that happened, it was like dire. Max said, "Oh my God, I I gotta get him out of there," you know. And oh yeah. Yeah, and Fitz had no idea. That, yeah, no idea. That no was idea. perfect. Yeah, that, that was very. And, good. and Gemma reason, was a mastermind with that. Oh, yeah, sorry. and the reason why I think that was good that Fitz didn't know that was because if he was in on that, he would have been. Because like right now we're unsure. Like Simmons has hope. I love Fitz, but we hate what he did as Leopold. So. If he mm -hmm. knew about what happened um, and was, like, staging it with them, he would, in my eyes, look like a worse person. Like, oh, yeah, he's definitely more Leopold because now he's willing to lie and fake his wife's yes. death, you know. Yes. And, and yeah. so him genuinely, like, not knowing and then uh, freaking out and coming out and being so emotional and hugging her really shows his innocence in that. Yes. And then hugging her right. like he wasn't that's lying right, yeah. and being deceitful again. Mm -hmm. So I think that's that was right, important yeah. to mm -hmm. see that as well. Yeah, so I am happy it had to tell play him. out like that, yeah. Because sure. I was like, oh my God, when he was so shocked when he first noticed she was okay, I was like, 
what's that look? And at first I just thought he knew and was in on the whole plan. And then I'm like, oh, no, he is really upset. Okay, no, he really didn't know. And it just took me a few moments to be like, okay, okay, what are these emotions? And I was like kind of relieved after that, you know? Yeah, and Yo-Yo was totally with it. She's like, yeah, I'm I'm all in. Super strong arms. Yeah, Yeah, I don't like where it's going. But honestly, um, trying to keep it light, I'll say that they'll probably have really epic, insane scenes of the three of them being invincible together. No. (laughs) You know, who knows? But I think it's going to be more of Simmons and Yo-Yo's doing more than Fitz because he's scared of that stuff, even hearing all these theories. And I'm also worried them being crazy like that is going to lead to Max's death because he's going to prevent Yo-Yo from dying with something crazy that she does. Could very well be. Who knows? I hope not, though. That would be awful. Yeah, so many theories, well, guys. Yes. Oh, I know it. <laughs> mm-hmm. We need Colson back. Yes. Yeah. They're I getting close. Well, they're pretty far from that mountain scene right there. That's my thing. <laughs> I know, it's like a perfect ride. I know she can see the future, but even how she does the peaks, exact angles and stuff. And yeah, I was just wow. like, that's great. Yeah. It's a good drawing. <laughs> it's good to have her around, you know? Absolutely. That's right. Oh, yeah. And it's hard because she's a child as well. Yeah, and just yeah. to throw her into Ooh. this, it, it's hard. Oh, but boy. she's handling it well, and she has a good family. Like She has a good mom and future mom. That's right. Yeah, she does. through it, you know? So we love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you very soon as always. Bye Bye. guys.